Did the clock start? Did you press? Yes. To the next round, let me know. I had a timer. It's all right. So what is the clock actually at? All right, check one, two, check one, two. Hello, everybody. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the Tulsa, Oklahoma Hyperspace Trial here at Team Covenant. How's everybody doing today? So now some of you might be wondering, why, why are you coming on so late, Dion? It's 6 o'clock on a, at least 6.30 Central uh, right now for round one. What is happening? So what's actually happening here, because of some of the size limitations of the venue itself, they're actually going to be doing a day 1A, a day 1B, and basically a graduated cut for round 4, 5, and 6, followed by the actual cut that's going to be happening depending on the total number of players so super happy to be here uh shout out to team covenant for their generosity and hospitality while we're hanging out here so right here we have eric riddle versus tim bunn we got imperial versus separatist on the right tim bunn running four separatist drones with energy shells sitting at initiative three and darth maul just loaded out to the teeth Carrying Kraken in order to have three of those drones hold on to those calculate tokens. You got hate regenerating the force. Tractor beam. You know, tractor beam is uh, you know, we'll see if he actually uses it here. Being able if you that hits, you're able to do one damage at first and then one tractor token for every um, hit after that. General Grievous able to shrug off some of those ship crits. Uh, Dooku can alter dice. Also, just having more forces is good, always good. Shield upgrade, just adding uh, adding to the beef. All right, so looks like we're gonna we're gonna actually get a get an engagement here pretty soon. I'm gonna try to get this get this pull up before we get too far here. So you got Eric or Tim. You can go ahead and choose your champion. It's coming up now. All right, that should be up now. One for Eric, two for Tim. Who do you think is going to uh, who do you think is gonna take it? Also, if you guys let me know how's the volume here. I'm not, like, the place is a little echoey. I'm not super far away. Let me know how the volume is. That would be great. If you need to boost it, I, I have a little bit of room here. Also, you might notice that our setup is a little bit different just because of the table constrictions. I do have a way to look at the cards, though, and we might flip, flip to that uh, as needed. Have a, a full card view that we can use, again, as we need it. Kind of a rushed setup today, um, but we I think we got it all done. We got it all done. We will not have access to the sky cam today. No sky cam. Um, take a listen here. See what. See what's going on. Just kind of getting settled here. All right. So Tim turning there. So he's measuring range there. Not sure what he's measuring for. Is it target lock action, I'm assuming? That lock is going to be out from from yellow. <laughs> Darth Revan, no sky cam. So the sky cam is actually being used so that I can see the cards on the other side of the table. That's why. Um, that's why we don't have a sky cam today, guys. I'm so sorry. Sacrifices had to be made. Just going one forward, excuse me, one bank, setting up for the joust here. I'm kind of surprised he didn't just go one forward, but might might be gunning for soon tier there. 
He's going to focus for his action. Either runs. Going to go ahead and activate that. We'll see what the maneuver is here. Just one straight. I think that's going to be just out of range. Maybe he clips on at range three. We'll find out when they pull out that range ruler. All right. Three forward. Probably throws on the focus to charge up those barrage rockets. Soon tier, two forward. Sitting right there. Two straight. Probably going to get a focus boost of eight. At least I think that's what Eric should do in order to, uh, to get the most. <laughs> I mean, you, you token stack. There's, I mean, you could barrel roll boost away, but then you don't have any tokens. I mean, to have the best chance to live, you want you want that token stack. You can get you can he can get focus evade uh, if he wants to. So for I see a couple people asking about the map. This is actually the very first um, system open Coruscant map. Only I think eight or nine of them were uh, were printed. All right, evade barrel roll. So might might get range three. I think it might still be range two though. All right, start of engagement. Going to use swarm tactics in order to make them uh, make the scimitar a five. Soon tier has a range two or three shot. Seems to be a range two shot. Soon tier into mall. This is going to be three on one. Oh, hit, hit, crit. You know what? Who needs mods? Sometimes, sometimes you just roll well. All right. Tim taking a second, looking at his options, looking at his cards. He's going to spend the spend the force to guarantee an evade. This is using Count Dooku. Hit, crit coming in. That should just be two shields there. I'll just double check in. So, just want to double check something. Does Grievous just straight cancel a crit? Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong. Why you defend if there are two? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. Use Grievous to cancel the crit. Takes one shield. Got it. Okay. Read, Dion. Alrighty. So, just down one shield there. All right, here we go. This is Maul. Hit, hit, crit. Spends the evade. No damage. He's going to spend a couple force here and do it again. Roll it again. Here comes Darth Maul. Again, range three. No mods on this shot, though. Has one force left. All right, that's two. And both those are going to get through. The strength of Darth Maul's ability showing right there. And when you're able to strip tokens and get multiple shots, that's good. <laughs> All right, so Duchess is going to go ahead and measure range. Look to be out. And Tomax is lining up. Those barrage rockets that seems to be in the bullseye, so rerolls will be available. Not obstructed. Here we go, three dice, barrage rocket. He's gonna spend that focus, make it hit, crit, crit. It'll be one dice because it does not allow for range bonuses. And he's going to take all of it. Hit, hit, crit. Should have one shield left. He's going to go ahead and spend a charge to re-roll here. 
and spends a focus for hit hit crit again. Maul burning down fast. Only one die and gets it. Hit crit. Shield's going to go down. We'll see what the card is here. And that is a fuel leak. That is not a good one to start out with. Fuel leak. If you take a crit, you add an additional damage on top of all the things. So Maul sitting there with a fuel leak. So he did take a bunch of damage. The force is pretty much all charged up on uh, on Maul because of hate. Vultures are up. They're in kind of a honestly a, a weak position right now because of the rock in the middle. Eric probably doesn't take very much damage here. He's going to go pink into the scimitar and the front's going to be through the rock. So he's going to use energy shells here. And this is from pink. And he can s he's going to probably use some network calculations here. Spends blues. There he goes. Gets hit, hit, crit. Got one. Going to take hit, crit. Those things don't have any shields, so we'll see what the crit is. Panic pilot. That's going to be double stress there for the Scimitar Squadron pilot. Oh, I think for Eric, that's a pretty good trade. You know, you can even look at it in the points. 48 to 31 right now. And uh, Maul. Maul has five. Kraken's going to allow him to hold on to those calculators. We're going to go ahead and close down the poll. Looks like people were thinking that Tim might have the advantage. We'll see what happens. So I hope all of you guys are doing well today. We're going to be live tomorrow bright and early. I think we're starting at 9 a.m. Central. Getting these dice rolling. Um, and we'll, we'll be bringing you rounds 1, 2, and 3 of Day 1B. Followed by... Rounds four, five, and six of everybody, and then the cut. So we'll be all we'll be here all day, all day. Uh, I, yes, I am in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Thank you to Team Covenant for uh, inviting me and hosting me up. And just a reminder that for this game, we do not have a sky cam. We have a card cam today. <laughs> if you want to take a peek, I actually got to go over there and clean it up a little bit, but. Uh, that's our view over there with the other camera. That's just so that I can see what's going on the cards because the table does not allow me to actually see cards on the edges like usual. But we'll be fine. Everything is fine here. I'm going to go clean up that side a little bit just for my sake. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Here we go. Scimitar, three bank. That is an aggressive move. Did he hit the rock? He sure did. Takes a crit. And it is a fuel leak on that Scimitar. It's a really aggressive move there from Eric. All right, we'll see what these Separatist drones do. Maybe that bomber's gonna gonna be able to block up a couple of things. Not being able to shoot's gonna hurt though. All right, there's the first block, and that's gonna be on the rock. He'll roll for that here in a sec. Rolling for pink and no damage there. This is gonna be another block. From blue. Two 
two straight. This one should have a shot. He'll be able to calculate here or target lock, depending on what he wants to do here. Takes another calculate. I think he mistakenly said that he thinks he has a target lock. I believe yellow was out for the target lock. Right, realizes it. Sticks with the calculate. Two forward from green. Might have the bomber just out of arc. And target lock. We're going to take it on the bomber. We'll find out if that's actually in arc when it's time to go pew pews. Maul, I think, trying to bust the sloop here. I think that might be on the rock, though. And it is. He'll roll for damage. Takes a crit. The crit is weapons failure. And does fuel does fuel leak trigger off of after you suffer a crit? Yeah, yep. Yeah, it's gonna take. He's gonna take another damage there. So he's down to three hole on Maul. All right, Duchess. Trying to bring it in. Sweeping three bank here. He is officially on the flank of those drones. Probably just drops a focus here. There it is. Maul should be stressed. We'll, we'll wait on that. Soon here is going to probably bump, I'm guessing, almost uh, two bank away. Ooh, that might make it. All right. Clears. Looks to be out of danger. I mean, then what do you do this turn? You definitely don't want to end stress. You want to be less predictable. I mean, I like the idea of boosting to the left, if you can. All right, so he's choosing to boost straight. Okay, check. Looks like our telestrator's not quite active yet. Let's try to get that, get that going. There it is. We're at the start of engagement. We'll get some swarm tactic action. No, we cannot. It is out of range. Soon tier doesn't have a shot. Maul doesn't have a shot. I think Duchess is going to be the first one who can actually fire. See who she goes after. Waiting for him to choose a target here. There's Duchess. There's the reach. He's probably going to go on to blue. He's going into blue, so he can double up shots from a Tomax Bren. This is going to be three on three. He's going to go ahead and spend that focus for hit, hit, crit. That's a good start to get rid of these drones. He's going to be defended with three. Has some calculates around. Can only spend one of them. Because he doesn't have his own. He's going to be taking... He's going to take it. Hit crit. And the crit is direct hit, and he is gone. Blue. Blue eats it. And Tomax now has, a, has the shot of the litter here. Probably just goes with the one of the rock. Eric thinking about his options. Yeah. 
I'm not sure which target it is right now. Two hits coming in. It's going into green. Okay. So green takes one. I think he was just trying to trying to strip some tokens there. Droids are up. Try to lay some pain here. They're calling range one obstructed from yellow. Uh, three dice. Three dice. Three dice. All right, three hits coming in. And who's able to get two? Takes one more hit on that bomber. Sitting at two, 49 left. Now Eric I think is, is soundly, soundly uh, in a good spot. Though I'm, uh, Maul, if he is ignored, can do a lot of pain. I, I know that, you know, I know that this might have been an obstructed shot. I mean, it might not even have been. I think I would have taken that shot on Maul. You had you had the barrage rocket. I know you don't have any rerolls, but Maul didn't have you know. I know he has the force, but I, th I think I would have shot Maul there. We'll see if it comes back to bite him. Maul can be quite dangerous. And both these players, good good friends, they're, they're discussing, uh, he asks, if, if, if I do a talent roll, what, what happens? So just, you know, if you're not familiar with the talent roll, so it turns one of the directions. So if he went this way, his ship ends pointing the opposite direction that he is right now. Looking at some of the bomber's options, I don't think the 5K fits here. So I think the bomber just kind of has to get out of the way. Maybe, you know what, maybe the bomber just won forwards and stays right there. Just just keep mucking it up. Um, though he would overlap the rock again, so he would have to roll again. But um, staying in that spot seems pretty good if you can muck up yellow and green. Duchess, um, I think you, uh, you probably dial in a bank maneuver two or three bank and if you need the ailerons you use it but remember Duchess if you're not familiar with her can uh, actually choose to not adapt the ailerons as well as do the ailerons while stressed that's very different than all the other strikers uh, Tomax Tomax I think he just won forward to victory honestly um, soon to hear, earlier when we were talking about it, the boost straight um, while I understand you know trying to get out of the uh, out of range of the of the of the drones, I think I would have, um, I think I would have preferred a bank boost. But at the same time, the the thinking here is you also have both choices open right now. You have left and right available. You're unstressed. You can use the one hard. Actually, you know what? The boost, straight boost. I think that was the right move. You're right, Eric. Yes, thumbs up. Because you're not stressed. That was uh, what I was concerned about. Yeah, you're good. He has he has more than enough room to hard one, and then boost. In either direction, obviously he has, has plenty of room over there. Mo, uh, Tim, Tim. So just, just, just in case, uh, Mo should be stressed. All right, here we go. A couple people asking, what are Maul's blue maneuvers? We can go ahead and shift over to that information right now. On the Sith Infiltrator, we have the one, two, and three straight, as well as the one and two banks available. I mean, one straight doesn't seem bad, honestly. 
you're probably able to face down Duchess. You want to get a shot here before uh, before you go, you go down. Let's see where the bomb. Let's see where the bomber's going. All right, two turn, and and he is gonna clip the rock on the way out. Looks like he fits there. Good blocking position. No action though. <laughs> it's a little, little bit of sticky fingers there. It's going to roll for damage and takes a hit. Is down to one hole on that scimitar. Looks like he's going to be talent rolling with pink. Trying to, trying to hunt down Duchess. He's going as far to the front as possible. Rolling one die. Takes a crit. It's going to be first blood there on the pink. Panic pilot, double stress. We've seen a lot of panic pilots this game. Triple stress after all of that. Hoo wee. He's going to go ahead to bank. Looks like he's going towards Tomax. Should have a shot if Tomax just did a one forward. Has a calculate from Kraken. He's going to go ahead and drop the target lock there. Tomax. Getting, uh, excuse me, the scimitar getting hopscotched here. Green going over. And it looks like Tomax is going to have to contend with two shots. Tomax has nowhere to barrel roll out of arc if he does come forward. He doesn't have that because the other vulture is in the way. Whether that was calculated or not, no idea. But it's true. Maul, one forward. Does he clear it? I mean, he's going to be off the rock. He's going to go ahead and see what happens. Does it clear? And it looks like it fits. No overlap. He's going to go ahead and use Kraken to calculate. Nope, not a calculate. So he's might be searching for a focus token. All right, one forward. He's sitting in, sitting in a, those, both those vultures arcs. Tomax could uh, probably. Uh, Green has two hole. Has a possibility of taking that one out, and Green is in the bullseye currently. Here comes Duchess. Ailer rounds one forward. Two bank. Staying on the outside there. He'll drop a focus. He definitely can clear green before he shoots into Tomax. Uh, 
Oopsie. Fixed uh, Sunterfels. Missed the shield upgrade there. Not used to not used to seeing those shield upgrades. Thank you for the shout out there. Soon tier. Barrel rolling. Boosting. Oh, I see that. That got moved there. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, looks like Suntier doesn't have a shot. <laughs> looks like Suntier has arc on green there, range three. It's got a few shots going into there. Tomax might actually end up being able to go into yellow. Here we go. Just one. Gets one. Should shoot with Duchess next. Let's see what it's. Yes. Malls first, excuse me, because Eric is. Excuse me, Tim is the first player. One hall left there. Four dice at range one, coming from a Darth Maul. Here we go. That's Dooku for a crit. Spends one force for a hit hit crit, and that's gonna guarantee the death there on the scimitar. Super dead there. Tim getting up to 68 points. You're saying there's still a chance. Now, he only has... He has two force. He can choose to, to do another shot here if he wants to. See if he does it. And he's doing it. He's spending the other two force. He's going to fire again. He's going into Duchess. Nothing there. Whiffs. All right, here comes Duchess going into green. Range one. This guy's two, spends a focus. That's four hits going into green. And he's gonna eat it. Green's gone, that means Tomax is ready to fire at yellow here. And the calculate is still on the board because the ship doesn't leave until the end there. Couldn't matter for uh, for yellow here. And he's going to spend for hit, hit, crit. Hit, crit. Hole breach. That's basically a blank crit. Down to one hole. Eric getting up to 113 with that half points. I want to remind you guys that after this round, we are, we're still doing giveaways. It's hyperspace trials. Now, we, we're not going as all out as usual. This isn't a premiere event. Ooh, hit crit, crit. You know what? Lay the pain. Do it. Whiffs on Tomax. Hit. First crit. Direct hit. Another one. Fuel leak. Takes four damage there, down to two. Tim trading, uh, trading some some shots there, actually being able to get some damage. I think if if Tim can leverage Maul, 
Oh, here we go. Luke has a shot here. Rain shoot through a rock, pink into Duchess, and nothing there. Ayo ha Hayish, um, people asking if I've put together my Wave 2 hyperspace travel. Uh, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Actually, if you type, is it exclamation point events? So uh, Tim Bunn is the brother of Zach Bunn, one of the proprietors of Team Covenant. People asking, Who, who's this Bunn related to? Rob P. saying, sadly, only subbed people can chat. No, not only sub people can chat on Twitch, only following people can chat. It's free to follow. Free to follow. Just click the heart button. <laughs> Nathan Squadron, hashtag not my button. Yeah, if you type uh, exclamation points, exclamation point uh, events, you'll see kind of what I've been putting together. You can take a peek there. Um, kind of what I'm trying to do. Anything that's blacked out is a is a is a uh, is a family family weekend essentially. So we'll see. Mega Silver, come back to Kentucky. I don't know, man. That was a rough drive. That was a rough drive. I don't know if I could do that again. <laughs> I had a I had a great time, but oof. We'll see. All right. Weapons failure. Yes, weapons failure has been fixed on Mall. <laughs> Fast walk saying you have to entice Dion to go to your hyperspace trial. I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, the, easy, the easier you make it for me, the more likely I am to come. All right. So, two bank there, carrying his stack of stress. Here's yellow. Quality time games, five, two, three. And you have to come to Houston. I'm going to try. I mean, does, does the date fit with, with, with what I got on my list already? All right. Looks like he bumps into the bomber. And Maul, one turn to the right. That's going to be a stressful maneuver, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Tomax doesn't move anywhere. One forward bump. He's going to be behind Maul. Duchess is choosing to ailerons towards Maul. It is a maneuver, so it can bump. It's not like a boost, where if you were to fail a boost, you cannot do it. Oh, QTG, uh, August. August is, uh, is full up. And busting the two sloop, going to face off against Maul. And soon to your two bank in the face of Maul. Maul is going to take some pain this turn for sure. Soontier doesn't have a barrel roll to the left available. I think this is the time. You take an evade. You're going to get a focus. We'll see what happens. Start of engagement. Soontier gets a focus. 
And uh, it's time to pew pew. Range one, four dice. All right, here comes Zunt here. Range one. Eric debating the uh, uh, debating whether or not to take the shot here. Um, Maul has one force left. He's taking range one on Maul. Here we go. That seems good. He's got a predator. Not spend the focus. Gets the decision again and does not spend. All right, so there is a focus result. He's going to use Grievous to cancel one hit. Takes two and gets two force back. Down to one hole for Maul. So not spending that focus there costs Eric being able to kill Maul. Being, you know, he could have gotten that initiative kill. I think Eric was thinking about the defensiveness and forgot that, you know, just the way the, way the math works out, he would have taken him out no matter what. I guess, actually, if he would have spent the force, he would have still been on one there. Maul sitting at three force. Range one, one hit and gets it into Duchess. No damage. He's gonna spend two force and try it again. Has one force left. And that's pretty good. Probably just gonna spend that and try to get rid of Duchess straight away. And Duchess gone. Now, uh, because of simultaneous fire, Duchess will get to fire before she goes. They're both at initiative five. But that actually puts Tim in the lead there, 135 to 113. If, by some miracle, Maul can live, Tim will be ahead with 28 minutes left on the clock. Fs are in the chat there. Oh, and that's going to be a dead Maul. Maul only has one defense dive, and he's gone. And the trade again favors Eric, pushing ahead 161 to 135. I think, you know, early in this game, Tim not being able to get the Vultures in a great position in the starting engagement is really what hurt him, right? So he started up in this corner. He came here through the top. And had this rock in the way. He was out of range. Uh, and basically just straight jousted with Maul. Um, I think a little bit more patience with Maul. Or maybe a different setup would have really uh, helped him out there. I think they're just rolling for Maul because. Uh, just so that Duchess can get his attack on. And that last vulture does not have a shot. 27 minutes left on the clock. Tim jokingly offering the final salvo. <laughs> All right. So for anybody who's just joining us, just kind of talk about the way the format of this event is going to be placed. Now, this is not uh, not the quote-unquote normal way, but it's a little bit different. So we're doing rounds one, two, and three today for round 1A. Tomorrow we're going to do round 1. 1B. We're going to do basically another round 1, 2, and 3 for another group of people. Following that, we're going to have 4, 5, and 6 with both Day 1A and Day 1B people coming together. And then we will end the day on Saturday. So tomorrow, at the very end of the day, 
with the top cut. So we're going to have a bunch of games tomorrow. I think we're going to have up to nine games tomorrow. We're starting nice and early, 9 a.m. Central. Make sure you guys tune in. And if you are hanging out at home right now, we do have our giveaways coming at the end of this round. Um, I don't know how quickly they, they are going to be switching rounds here. We don't have a tonnage of people around. But uh, it's just a thank you for your patience if we do have to skip any giveaways. All righty. And that vulture is running away. Saying no thank you. I don't want this life. <laughs> All right. We'll see. Did you go ahead and throws down the calculate? Um, I think what I'd like to see from Tim here, if he wants a chance, he needs to converge these vultures, bring them together, and try to take out um, Tomax first, and then you chase down Soontir. But uh, that's not going to happen. We got Tomax here, one banking. He's going to drop down the focus and pop number pink at range one. Eric looking at his options there. He's asking for a health check. I think he's debating whether or not to uh, barrel roll out of the arc. So you're going to be sitting in front of that, that rock, though. And he's going to throw down a... He's going to target lock. Target lock over focus. Statistically give you the same odds. Soon tier, two bank. He's going to clear. Sitting at range one of, uh, of the pink vulture probably just boosts. Boost forward, get to range two, or focus, and then boost. And you take your shot on, uh, on yellow. And the boost looks like it fits. He's got it. Should throw the stress down. There it is. It is time to engage. Range three. No bullseye. So he's not going to get the focus. The, uh, the additional focus. No free focus for you. And re-roll because it was out of the box. And hit, hit, crit. Takes a crit on the yellow. Let's see what it is. And that is a few council fire. So he's going to, when he engages, which is this turn, even though he doesn't have anybody to shoot, he will uh, roll a die no matter what. Takes a crit on the pink. I think I have some damage mixed up here. Loose stabilizer. So he's at one. I think he's actually at two. There we go. When he engage, he takes a damage. And now yellow's at one haul. Sorry about that. And Pink checking to see if he has Archon soon to here. See if he can catch him here. Range two. He is worth significantly more points than Tomax. It's a good idea. Oh. 
Duchess, uh, excuse me, Tomax is sitting at two hole. I mean, he's more likely to actually take out Tomax. I think you just go range one at Tomax here. That's a crit. Gets an evade. No damage there. All righty. So let's talk. Take a second. Talk about our stream goals. We'll pull that up here in a little bit. We're we're reaching for by the end of tomorrow. We're trying to see. I know it's a little bit of a stretch, but the number is 100. We got prizes that were given away. We got something every round. It's, you know, little cards and stuff. We got our more premier prizes starting at 40. I got 40, 60, 80, 100. We'll show those off here at the end of the round. Looks like they're already set. And here's the 1K. Trying to get that Vulture back in the action. <laughs> Isofane. Isofane says, Gold Squadron Podcast. Stream goals question mark. I'm listening. The dice cam should be up. People who are watching at home. Three turn. I think I think it's trying to trying to do a bit of a pincer maneuver here on soon tier. Tomax dropping the three K. Bombers gaining that additional K turn from first edition. Originally they only had a five K. Soon tier. Three straight gonna get in the face of yellow here. <laughs> I thought the dice the dice cam was working. Why are you guys trolling me? Dice cam's working. Stop it. <laughs> All right, focus boost is getting range one. He's gonna try to try to nuke yellow before he gets out. That's gonna get him range one. No bullseye, but he has a focus already. Soon to your range one. And if he spends that, that's guaranteed. And he's going to go ahead and take the risk. Hit, crit, crit. Guaranteed death from yellow. Yellow gone. And number pink, tra tradition. Very hard to kill. Last one alive. Can he do it? Tomax, one hit into number pink. He's sitting at one. Can he survive? Yes. Some would say it's hard to kill number pink. <laughs> I love hanging out with you guys. Two hits. Two hits going into soon tier. And soon tier's fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. How are you? <laughs> we have 147 people here watching on Twitch. Now, I will say, p people who are watching on YouTube, YouTube is going through some changes right now. They're going through, you know, it's it's YouTube puberty, I think, uh, is what's happening. They're changing up how they're doing stuff. Like, I don't even know if people got notifications on YouTube just because of how the changes are. Did you get a notification? Anybody who's watching on YouTube, did you get a notification or did you just see it? One hit and gone. Flies over the rock. YouTube beauty, yes, absolutely. Well, thank you so much to Eric and Tim for playing. Awesome game. And number pink goes down. But you know what? On its own terms. And I think that's how it should be. That is how it should be. All right. 
So let's talk about giveaways. Sorry, I'm I'm running a little, trying a little bit of a different setup here. So you see me looking all over the place. You know why? How's it going, everybody? I'm here, sitting in the corner. How are you? I'm fine. Um, hanging out. So I'm taking a look here, and I'm showing you guys where we are on our sub goals. So the goal the total is 100 for Tulsa, and just kind of want to talk about the prizes we got going here. If we get 40 subs. We're going to be giving away some of those wedge cards, okay? Those are hard to find. You Only if you got them at Celebration or right here. Uh, at 60, we have the Gold Squadron Podcast Crimson Templates. Insert the meme here if you, if you were here when I messed up colors. Uh, at 80, we have a Minox Squadron Upgrade Binder. Thank you to Minox Squadron for providing that. And at 100, we have a Luke Carrington Painted Ahsoka Tano. It's mm, so pretty. And it comes... With a campaign, 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 wow, campaign against cancer, uh, dice keychain. So uh, that's happening at some point. So that should be should be pretty fun. We have today and tomorrow only three rounds tonight. Again, we're doing day one A rounds one two three, followed by tomorrow rounds day one B one two three, followed by combining day two is not another day, but it's right after. It'll be four, five, six, and then the cut. We're gonna have a long night. We gonna have a long night. So let's go ahead and let's bust out. Let's bust out some stuff for giveaways. I gotta, where, where's my box? There's my box. Hold on a second. All right, here we go. All righty. So let's go ahead and let's let's warm up the giveaway machine. It's not quite active yet. Let's do that. Open. Now, if you've never participated in our giveaways, it's a lot of fun, and anybody can do it. Literally, all you have to do is uh, type in the chat starting now. That's actually on now. Uh, all you got to do is type something in the chat. That is it. Essentially, what happens is it culminates all the names of the people who are uh, typing in the chat. Uh, I press a button, and it picks one, and you get free stuff. Pretty simple there. We got some fun stuff today. We got some official stuff today. We're going to be having a good time. So, let's pull these out first. We got those. Mm-hmm. Got some of those. All right. All right. So for this round, again, it's round one. We got we got a bunch of games to go here. We gotta we have to, you know, um what's the word I'm looking for? What there's a word I'm looking for. We have to kinda of, we stretch it out. We gotta stretch it out a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and start here. With Finch Dallow, right? Because Finch is always first. Who's getting Finch? Here we go. Three, two, one. Roll it. The winner is MCR Hay or McKay or McCray. McCray Cray. Let's see who gets it. All right. Next one we have. If you didn't get one of these in first edition, here's your opportunity. Everybody's favorite card. Juke. Okay. This is double-sided first edition to second edition. Who's going to get themselves some alt art juke? Here we go. Three, two, one. Congratulations to Wrestlers Meagle. Very, very nice. Very nice. We're going to follow it up there. You know what? There's a card that I missed on soon tier. Who's going to go ahead and get that alternate art shield upgrade? Who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? Three, two, one. Roll it. Tricore, congratulations. And the last one for this round is going to be a double sided Scorch and Blue Squadron Rookie. Okay, double sided here. Who's going to go ahead and get that one? Three, two, one. Boom. The Xeron. Congratulations. All names I've never read before. Congratulations, our first time winners. Now, as a reminder, if you've never uh, won a giveaway before, what you have to do is type exclamation point win in the chat 
a link will come up. You fill out that Google form. If it doesn't work on your phone, it, some phones do weird things. You can try opening it up in your regular browser, or you might need to wait and or open it into, into a computer. Make sure to completely fill all that information out. If the information is incomplete, I can't send it out. Um, yeah. So just make sure you guys get that done. And yes, we ship all around the world. So for cars, it's free shipping. Uh, and uh, for the larger items, we do ask f to do uh, for people to pay shipping. Well, we'll we'll get to that when we get to that. Right now, we're sitting at six subs. Again, thank you so much to Eric and Tim for playing. Um, looking at our time here, we have ten min, eleven minutes left in the round. Uh, imaginary man throwing down an exclamation point. Pick me. I don't think uh, I don't think Nightbot recognizes that. <laughs> Uh, very nice. Uh, the Xeron, what do you type in? Right there. There's the link right there. Somebody did it for you. AMA time? Sure. AMA time while we hang out and wait. Sir George, how's it going, man? Can I be on stream tomorrow? Uh, Jude Allen, 91, what are you playing? That would be <laughs> Brew Dude seven one six asks, "Can we win your shirt, Dion?" Uh, no. I like this shirt. I like this shirt. <laughs> Isofane, will you stream my local hyperspace in Sacramento, CA? Great Escape events. Isofane, uh, what's the what's the date? If it fits. Let me know what the date is. If I can make it, make it work. Lou the Lunatic. <laughs> Dion Painting Expert, referring to yesterday's uh, antics on the Gold Squadron paint cast. That was a lot of fun. Uh, the last game was won by Eric Riddle, flying Sunterfeld, Tomax, Brand, Duchess, and a Scimitar Squadron bomber. Uh, Midwest Scum 57 asks, can I win the GSP Classic this year? You know what? If you try really hard, yes, you can. <laughs> uh, well, where was that last one? MG Rockwell. Wow. Stand up or sit down while wiping. Well, you know what? This is a. This is. I did say, ask me anything, and the answer is sitting down. Always sitting down. Uh, Jude Allen says three arcs. He's flying three arcs and Mace fresh repaints on Mace and Sinker. Yeah, that sounds like a great list. We can get that going. Did you eat well today? I did. I did. Actually, I skipped breakfast, so I don't know if that counts. I skipped breakfast and then had a salad for lunch, and I haven't eaten dinner. So all good, all good. <laughs> uh, DX Dave Seven, hey D, watching you from the UK. The Ed Holmes hopes you're okay and thinks you're sexy. You know what? I love you, Ed Holmes. I'm excited to see you. Hopefully at the European Championships. Christopher Stowe watching X-wing preparing for tomorrow's hyperspace trial. That's right. You gotta go through the simulations, guys. You gotta go. Uh, August seventeenth. Ah. Why is everybody, why are all the cool people doing things in August? I think my wife would kill me if I went out of the, if I flew every week in August. Ooh, I don't know. I didn't, you're right, I didn't black it out. So, and there's another reason it was open, actually. Uh, there may or may not be a, a um, on that, on the 17th, there may or may not be a system open that day. 